Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to discuss about the urinary system. The urinary system is composed of the kidneys. You have two kidneys, ureters, we have two ureters, urinary bladder, and the urethra. What is the function of the urinary system? The ur urinary system filters blood to create urine as a waste product of the body or the byproduct of the body. So always remember, urine is the waste product of the body. It also aids in the elimination of waste products from the blood. What are these waste products from the blood? We have toxins, drugs, nitrogenous waste, such as urea and uric acid. Urea is the byproduct from protein metabolism. Excess water, like if you drink too much, expect that you will pee uh, more than what is expected. Glucose and ionic salts. Sodium. So, okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you the pathway of the blood from the abdominal aorta to the kidneys and the pathway of the blood uh, the pathway of the blood from the abdominal aorta to the kidneys and the formation of the urine and the pathway of the uh, of the blood from the kidneys going back to the heart so that will be two different type of discussion okay but i will try my best to discuss this in just a few minutes and in a way that even non-medical students will be able to understand the urinary system easier Okay, so first you need to be familiarized with the different uh, parts of the kidneys. So I suggest you can just pause the video and be familiarized with the different parts of the kidneys for you to uh, understand the discussion easier later on. Okay, so moving on. Let's start. So the blood again coming from the abdominal aorta will enter the kidneys through the renal artery so this is the first stop the renal artery where is the renal artery It's the red one underneath the blue one the blue one here this is the renal veins underneath is the renal artery next will be the segmental artery so it will flow here then interlobal interlobar artery next to the arcuate arteries these little ones here then to the interlobular artery. Next, it will travel to the nephrons. The nephrons, is, it's too little, we can't see it. Then we need to zoom in. If we will zoom in, that's the part here. Okay? So this is what's inside the nephrons. Again, it will the, the blood will travel to the renal arteries, to the segmental artery, interlobar artery, arcuate artery, interlobular artery, then to the nephron, which is the basic unit of structure in the kidneys. Now, in the nephrons, there are, it is divided into two different arterioles. We have efferent arteriole and afferent arteriole. But first, it will travel, the blood will travel to the afferent arteriole. Next, it will travel to the glomerulus where filtration takes place. Remember, this is very important, the glomerulus or glomeruli. This is the part where filtration takes place. What are, what are the um, things that are being filtered? These are the your urea, uric acid, excess water, ionic salts, glucose, toxins, and drugs. The, the ones I mentioned earlier. And then once after the filtration happens, the filter it will travel to the Bowman's capsule. If we will zoom in to the Bowman's capsule, hold on, here. So here, this is the glomeruli where filtration takes place. And then there are, this is the glomeruli, right? Where filtration takes place. And here, there are cells here in which they only allow water to be in the urinary space. This is the Bowman's capsule. 
So what is filtered? What is filtered out of the uh, of the glomerulus or the glomeruli is only the water. So it will be filled in here in this urinary space of the Bowman's capsule. So blood filters out of the capillary loops through the glomerular basement membrane and podocytes and into the urinary space. So once they are here, this is the time once the uh, what uh, the filtrate is already here, the the function of the Bowman's capsule is to create or is to create or form is formation of urine. So urine formation takes place in the Bowman's capsule. Remember that. So again, in the glomerulus, filtration takes place. Then the filtrate will travel to the Bowman's capsule for the formation of the urine. Once it is here, it will travel to the renal tubule. This one here, the one that you see like a snake here, this, um, not the tiny ones, this big ones here, hold on, that connects to, that connects to, to the Bowman's capsule, this one that connects to the Bowman's capsule, this is the renal tubule, and they are divided into, they are divided into four. We have the proximal convoluted tubule. This is the proximal convoluted tubule. We have the loop of Henle. We have distal convoluted tubule. And th there should be a one part here, the collecting ducts. Hold on, I have a photo for that. Here. So this is, so after in the glomerulus and uh, the Bowman's capsule, then the, the filtrate will now travel, now the urine now will travel to the proximal convoluted tubule here, to the loop of Henley, to the distal convoluted tubule, then next to the collecting ducts. After the collecting ducts, it will travel to the minor calyces. Let's go back to the picture of the kidneys. So after in the collecting ducts, it will travel now to the minor calyces. Here is the minor calyx. Next to the major calyces. Next to the renal pelvis. Then it will enter now to the ureters. This is the ureter. Look here. Is the ureter. Down to the urinary bladder. Down to the urinary bladder. Then to the urethra, where the urine passes. Now, maybe we'll ask, where will the blood go right after filtration? So, if you will remember, the, the blood enters into the glomerulus for filtration, right? Then, after filtration, it will go to, it will travel to the Bowman's capsule for urine formation, then to the four regions, the four regions of the renal tubule, then to the co uh, collecting ducts, then to the uh, uh, renal to the minor calluses, major calluses, renal pelvis, ureters, urinary bladder, down to the urethra. Now, where will the blood go right after filtration? The blood now will enter to the efferent arteriole, then to the peritubular capillaries. So the one that you see here, uh, this tiny ones here, the one that connects to the glomerulus, this is the pathway to uh, of the blood back to the heart and the one that connects to the Bowman's capsule is the pathway of the filtrate or the urine down to the urethra in which urine passes.
passes. So again, it will uh, the blood will travel to the efferent arteriole, to the peritubular arter uh, peritubular capillaries for reabsorption of useful nutrient uh, useful uh, substances like glucose, amino acids, and secretion of excess water. Then to the interlobular arteries. Uh, interlobular veins rather interlobular veins then to the renal veins the blue ones interlobular vein to the arcuate vein then to the renal veins then back to the heart where um back to the heart for oxygenation again and then it will repeat the process so if you want to know the um the process of a uh, heart blood flow uh, i have uh you can watch my previous video so that's it for urinary system thank you for watching special thanks to the authors of the images used links and attributions are also posted in the description box below thank you